This piece of Transformers TCG content is brought to you in part by all these content creators and the Facebook community. Go check out the creator's content in the description of this video, as we all continue to grow this fantastic game's content and its community. We hope you all enjoy this new series. Autobots, roll out! What up guys, it's Lee here from Bleeped Up Productions and today we're bringing you something a little bit special. What we're bringing you today is the Deck Tech Challenge. That's right, Mike and me did an episode. It was a pilot episode. And then we threw it out there in the community and it caught on fire. We got a lot of people hyped to do it. And then we asked people, would you like to be a part of this? And guess what? The floodgates freaking opened guys and it was phenomenal. Within the first day we had 20 plus people. 20 plus people wanting to do a collaboration on this whole medium that we're doing. And it's fantastic. All we want to do is grow the game of the Transformers TCG. And we've got big channels and we've got small channels all working together here on the YouTube. We've got people who do content on YouTube. We've got podcasters. We've got live streamers. We've got people who run tournaments. We've got people in the community. Guys, this, this is just ridiculous. This is like the Mortal Kombat. Of Transformers TCG right now that's going on online. I don't think anyone's done a mega collaboration like this. A lot of the channels do coincide and work together, but I don't think anyone's done like 20 plus at the moment. I think we've just set a new record. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna explain the rules right now, and then we're gonna get straight into the episode, and we're gonna let the challengers throw down here on Bleeped Up Productions. Okay, so the deck tech challenge is very, very simple. It basically is divided into three rounds. Round one. And in round one, what happens as soon as you get your opponent is you nominate two characters and two battle cards. These uh, cards can be from any particular wave. Uh, they can have uh, synergies with the cards or they can complete jank or they don't work. And then you go ahead and you go straight into round two. Round two. Now round two is where you build the deck and you try and build something that is either amazing or completely janky or something themed. You can choose what you want to do. But the problem is you need to use one of the cards that the other person has given you. You have to choose at least one of the characters and one of the battle cards. You could use both characters or you could use both battle cards, but you have to at least pick one battle card and one character. And in round two, you show the deck. You basically discuss it by telling what's in the card and a little bit of synergy, shall we say. And then we move into round three. Round three. Now round three is where you guys have a battle report. Basically you will record yourselves having a game uh, using the decks and it's basically one game and that is it. But if you can't record your games, no need to worry because round three is a little bit different because it'll either be a battle report or talking about the deck synergies. Now, I know not everyone can record. So basically, this is basically a little bit of information for people who are going to try out this deck, what to look out for. And then we will release the video so the community and us here on Bleeped Up Productions and all the other content creators that are a part of this series can try these decks out and see how it is. And that is as simple as it gets. That is the deck tech challenge. Challenge someone, build a deck, play the game of the TCG. This is Corey with the Set to Talk. Uh, we're here with the Deck Tech Challenge uh, put out by Bleeped Up Productions, uh, aka Lee and uh, his uh, cohort, whose name I forget. Anyways, uh, I got paired up first off here with my buddy. 
Dan. 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 Right. So, uh, we were the uh, last pair up that was announced on our video for getting set up. So, obviously, we thought, you know, well, that means we're the main event because, you know, the main event always goes on last. Anyway, so, a uh, little intro for ourselves. Uh, as Dan just said there, he's got the Instagram account. Go check that out. Uh, he's been posting little pictures here and there with some stuff. Uh, I saw some, uh, uh, I think they were uh, Perler Bead <laughs> Transformer pieces on there. So, that's fun. The little crap I need to look into. Uh, I'm on the, uh, in, uh, not on Instagram, but I'm on uh, Twitter. I got the uh, YouTube going as well. I don't have too many videos out there. I'm still a relatively new channel at this point, but I, I just love the game and I'm enjoying doing what we're doing. Get ready. Let's go. Round one, fight. All right, so let's go ahead and I guess we can roll right into our challenge reveals piece. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. All right. Um, so I thought I have a theme. Uh, it's quite a straightforward thing. So for your challenge, uh, I give you the challenge of working with wave one deadlock. <laughs> And wave four deadlocks. You get double deadlock. You get both cards. I've only got the one, so it's this guy, this badger. Um, he's the, probably the better one because no one talks about the other one. Yep. <laughs> so, obviously, a bit of synergy there with the cards, obviously, the Merc tech. So, but I kind of want to see how the wave one one does, if that makes sense. You know, the one no one talks about. Um, yeah, because it doesn't do well. <laughs> your challenge is probably to make him work. Now, this deadlock probably will help him, but um, I think it'd be quite cool to see, see him be pulled off, if that makes sense. Like double deadlock. Obviously, um, they got things going for him, so it'd be interesting to see your take on that. Okay. Double deadlock. All right, I'll see what we can do there. I like the name. Basically, I thought that's quite. I like the name. Work with that. That's easy. <laughs> All right, good deal. So, what's the uh, battle card stipulation I have to work with? Uh, so, uh, battle cards wise, again, totally theme. Uh, so you've got two. Uh, first one is Soul the Holster. And the theme is, he's on the card, he is on yep. the card. Uh, but obviously, Shoulder Holster is quite a jankyish card because it's the luck of the flip. I know you can do the plan and all, but again, it's blue. Um, it gives you an extra weapon. It'd be good to see if that like pops off. And again, with the theme, we've got an even better card, which is Dual Wheel. So dual wheel is a big staple with the mercery lot. Obviously, pop it on a mercery, you get a free weapon. It also lets you dig one out of the bin, like the KO area. So, um, scrap pile. So, that's another one. Again, he's on the card. So, that's the theme. The theme is deadlock. So, again, uh, I want to see it go off, mate. I want to see you put it in and put it <laughs> off. <laughs> so, no pressure. <laughs> we'll see how that works. All right, so, all right, I got my, my wheels are turning. I already got some ideas. We'll see what we can come up with here. All right, so, mine is semi-themed as well. Not as, like, in-depth themed, but still themed. Uh, mine's centered around some jets, some jet boys. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm giving you the challenge character-wise of Dirge. Dirge was wave two and right. Ramjet. Ramjet's wave one. Two of the uh, uh, jets that, you know, just, they just don't see a lot of play. Uh, they're the conehead ones of the Seekers. So it'd be fun to kind of, you know, see one or both in play. Uh, <laughs> like I said, still keeping still with the theme though, I gave you. Uh, Plain jet uh, working cards. 
uh, Aerial Recon. Let's see, Gertility. Put home only on planes when the upgraded character attacks or defends. You look at the top card of your deck and you may scrap it. So, kind of a little bit of a plan option there with it before they had to land. Uh, the other card is the Action Bombing Run. Choose an enemy character, move one damage counter from each of your planes to that enemy. So, if you do play two and you pull it off and you've got damage on, you know, two or more planes, you're transferring quite a bit of damage. So, it could be a neat little card. It's one of those ones I just, I, you just don't see planes fully enough, I feel like. And, you know, therefore, you also don't see cards like this get played a lot. But I think there's a lot of fun that can be had with it nonetheless. Yeah, nice. Sorry, yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Sorry, Ryan, that card, like, it looks awesome. Let's try and make it work, isn't it? It's like, come on, it's got to work. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, All right, cool. guys. Well, that is our round one of the Deck Tech Challenge. Uh, we'll, just, we'll get back together after we've built some decks. We'll do a deck reveal, and then we will jump into a match and see whose deck is better. Bye. <laughs> Let's go! Round two, fight! So we're back. Uh, we are uh, ready to go with revealing our uh, deck list uh, for our challenge. Uh, as a reminder, Dan gave me the challenge of deadlocks with some dual wield and shoulder holster. Uh, Dan, remind him what I gave you. I have got Dirge and Ramjet, and I was given Aerial Recon and Bombing Run, so the plain theme. Excellent. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the reveal, and then we'll cut away for a minute, and we'll go ahead and get a game in, kind of seeing how they pit up against each other. So, all right. All right, so for my setup here, uh, again, I was uh, tasked with going with the dual setup of two deadlocks. I ended up going with barricade as the next option there. I just felt like he was probably going to be one of the strongest pieces to use in there, fit in with the car theme. Also gave me another Decepticon to work with uh, if you kind of know that I've already got one mercenary in there and some Decepticons. You can only guess what's probably also in the deck, which we'll come to that in just a second. Uh, I'll go ahead and start off with my uh, equipment pieces first. So first off, I am just actually rolling with the single shoulder hoster there. Following up with that, another utility, pocket processor. Last of my utilities, a trio of boosters. Turbo boosters, sorry. All right, moving on, uh, going next into my weapons. Uh, rolled around with two piercing blasters for the white pip. I went with two scoundrels blasters for that blue green. Three sturdy javelins for that magical situation where I get to throw two javelins, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> and then last weapon, a soldier's blaster, as it's the backup option for deadlock. Then, lastly, I have my armors for my equipment. Uh, nothing too crazy here. One bashing shield, uh, orange green, just give me an option to kind of get rid of some armor if I need to. A black pip to increase durability, give me a plus four health if I really need to keep somebody in play for just a hair longer, it might help me out. And then just two cops of terrifying resilience. If I get them on my draw, they'll be really helpful, but if not, then they'll actually help me out on my defense flips. All right, putting those to the side. Going on at this point, I uh, have my setup of actions. I kind of broke these down into a couple categories. So we'll start off with the action cart that will hurt you on flips. Uh, putting in my dual wield as my other part of my challenge. Let's go! Two contract contingencies for the double pierce. I'm sorry, 
three contract contingencies for the double peers. I didn't bother to organize them, obviously. I just pulled them out real quick. Uh, three copies of the treasure hunt. Uh, this main reason is just to try and get the good equipment flowing through there if I need it as soon as possible. Um, because of the star count that I had with my characters, I was able to get a one-star card. I went with Leap of Faith. Again, giving me a great option to play some extra cards if it comes in play. Worst case scenario on flip, it's a white that gives me a couple extra flips there. And then kind of playing in with uh, Sergeant Barricade and again the whole theme of wanting to get people going. We got some ready for actions. Moving past the cards that'll hurt you, uh, we'll go into just the basic secret actions. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Stable covers to get rid of Pierce. Some hidden fortifications for some tough three. And then we go into the save my butt and possibly hurt you cards. <laughs> so I alluded to already before, I'm playing a mercenary Decepticon, so there's your opportune offensives. Yes. Uh, again, because I'm playing some cars, roll around with those start your engines. And because you never know how uh, big and bad your opponent's going to be, some bigger they are in dose formatos. Uh -huh. And that, sir, is my deck for you to deal with. Nice. Ramjet's quiet, crying over the bigger they are at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, well, hit us with what you got. Yeah, cool. Thanks, mate. Uh, so my go is in depth, but I'll give you the flavor of the deck. Uh, basically, I'm going to stick with the planes. Um, so with Dirge being uh, eight and Ramjet being a mighty ten, there's only left with a few, and the only one that will probably fit in is Nova Storm. So obviously, again, keeping with the Decepticon theme, and even though these are like economy planes, you know, at least Nova Storm puts them up a bit of a class because obviously she's got quite good abilities. Obviously, the Pierce with the upgrade, and she can move damage as well with the upgrade. I'm going to try and live the dream. And this deck is going to revolve around, obviously, the bombing run and the flash, because I've got the limited ones. And aerial recon, which is very handy, because this deck is mixed. So it's a mixed deck. Let's go! So aerial recon lets you get rid of the blues and X, Y, and Z. Uh, yeah, I'm going to live the dream of try and pull off MMP. So multi missile pod. Obviously, <laughs> I think yeah, it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm uh, going to see if I can work with these chumps. I don't know if it will, but we'll see if it happens. Um, obviously, there's one across the board, three, uh, and then three, and then whatever for the third one, because no one ever gets there. Uh, we're going to do that is probably by Metal Detector. Works well with Nova Storm, because it's black. Obviously, flip it. If we've got one down already, it goes on top, um, So because you can play it. And... Back from the dead, swindled. So they're all Decepticons. So again, one in the hand, two go down at once. Or I can even dig for one as well. Um, so they launchers, the javelins in there, uh, even soldiers blaster. Obviously, they're all Decepticons. And then just keeping them alive. So you've got force fields in there. Then I thought go a bit janky. So I've got Lucky Vest, remember that? <laughs> and the field. So they're blanks. So I've only got a few. So you never run more than three because that's just suicide. So uh, just to see if these guys pull off as well. So because uh, I know what's coming. Obviously, we'll be untapping. So it'd be interesting to see if you can stop them from dying. So yeah, just make them into big weapons and then hopefully send across the damage. So we'll see. We will see. It'll be fun. Awesome. All right, we're going to cut away for a second. We come back. Uh, we will be battling cars versus planes. Let's go! Round three, fight! All right, guys, we're back. We're going to go ahead and uh, get our shuffle game on here and get all set up to go. I got my lucky die here that always is lucky for other people not me you want to call odd or even uh uh even please and it's even you want to go first or second i will i'll go second so with me going first i think i'm gonna go ahead and let's see I'll go ahead and put bad boy here. My deadlock son. 
And let's go ahead and send him into... Let's go ahead and try and get some damage on Nova Storm while we can here. So in Nova, uh, looks like I'm hitting for five Pierce one. Nice. Uh, blocking two, so she takes three. Do I want the blaster? Oh, you're not all about three. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. I will flip Nova Storm. Uh, I will give Ramjet head on collision. As my one card per turn, and mm -hmm. then I'll send uh, for 11 PS1. Ow. Uh, I block for two, so I'll take, you said 11? Yeah, 11, yeah. So seven, pop the head on. Well, nine. Nice. Oh, Deadlock, you're not lasting long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead for you. All right. Day. All good. All right. Let's go ahead. We'll play uh, Start Your Engines. All right. That keeps him alive. Yeah, for a short time. <laughs> <laughs> then she said you back out. <laughs> Out you go. Yeah. Back you go. <laughs> gotta, gotta think of that, actually. Uh, oh, Ramjet hit pretty hard. Well, how much defense do you guys have a two or zero? Uh, so Ramjet in alt mode has zero defense, but he has 14 health. Let's go ahead and flip Boy Barricade here. Nice. And we'll go ahead and put a Piercing Blaster down on him. Ouch. And we'll send him on in. Yes. And lucky me, I did draw a blank, so I'll go under him. I'm hitting for four Pierce four. Uh, so I flip. Or, I, I think for six Pierce four. <laughs> uh, so uh, I take the six. Uh, I didn't flip a blue, so that's pretty annoying. Yeah, that worked out really well because I got me a. Uh, Ready for action underneath them, too. That is awesome. Uh, Drofter. I will play an emergency defense field on Ramjet. Remind me on that one, it's like if I do even damage or something like that. So if the upgraded, upgraded character defends and would take an even amount of attack damage, it takes no damage. Got it. Okay. Character defends and takes no damage. This card goes, so uh, it's a one and done if it works. Um, and then I'll rock toss barricade. One. And then I'm going to send in. Am I going to flip him? No, I'm not going to flip him. I'll send in Dirge. Uh, flip the white. Uh, for five PS two. Five Pierce two. I defend for three, so I'm taking two regardless. Cool. I will pick up the metal detector for an aerial recon. I am going to. I'm going to leave that. I don't need it right now. All right. Drawing up on a Tuesday. All right. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We will flip. Get to play that, untap them. Yep, nice. And Dan. And Dan and Dan and Dan, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and play Contract Contingency on Barricade. Nice, nice. And we'll go ahead and send. Oh, Barricade, do we want to send you in there? Let's see, I'm getting Pierce 6, so that's already working in my favor. Yeah, let's send, let's send it into Dirge. Let's try and yeah. let's try and see what happens yeah. here with Dirge. Flip the white. So I'm in the end doing seven Pierce 7. Oh nice. Well I block three, but you'll take the whole seven. 
Yep. Now I wish I would have went for the other guy. <laughs> I will leave it. Uh, draw for ten. I will give Nova Storm a metal detector. No. Uh, I'll give her a metal detector. And then I'll attack on the barricade. Mm -hmm. uh, metal detector activates. Uh, it's head on collision. Uh, so it doesn't work. Yeah. So white. Uh, so I'm attacking for five, PS4. Uh, I'll defending for three, but I'll take the Pierce four. So that'll put me at seven. And I will take that pocket processor. Thank you very much. Good for it. Throwing that contract contingency. All right. Drop a turn. <laughs> of course. Okay, let's go ahead and put the... Okay, so you're all tapped out. Let's go ahead and put the pocket processor down on deadlock. Yeah. Let's go ahead and play this ready for action. Nice. Stand him back up. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's play the can we kill stuff game. So let's oh, go ahead and try and get... Uh, let's go ahead and try and get... Was it Dirge with the most there? Yeah, Dirge. Yeah. Let's go oh, ahead. And, actually, let's uh, let's flip him because we can just in case. Just in you case. Send him him in a dirge. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's it's looking good. All right, so I'm hitting for uh, five pierce five. Ah oh, man, uh, block four, uh, but the pierce kills him. <laughs> he's out of here. And no blanks, so nothing there. Uh, let's go ahead and send in Deadlock on. Let's send Deadlock in on Nova Storm there. Yeah, go for it. Uh, five. Uh, blocking one takes four. Got five left now. Yeah. Let's keep the ball rolling. Uh, we'll keep going into Nova Storm, trying to take them out. Oh, got five. You got it. Uh, six Pierce one. Uh, yeah. Uh, what did you need? Five. Yeah, you got it, mate. Didn't block anything. We do. Everybody stand up. Uh, Come on, dude. Uh, I'm gonna take that bashing shield, actually. That's a, it looks like a good card to use right now. <laughs> that is an armor, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so who's got what left? Uh, Deadlock, you can't see. Perfect health. Uh, Deadlock, Decepticon, 9 out of 11. And Barricade, 7 out of 12. We will go into I might flip him just for the defense. But the big attack. Uh, grenade launcher. <laughs> Someone's gonna die. <laughs> uh, we're going to barricade. Barricade, yep. Makes sense. Eleven PS1. 11 pierce one, I only defend for two, so barricade is gone. Um, right. My turn, I get to draw two cards. Lucky me. Go for it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make this really fun. Let's go ahead and play this bashing shield. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> uh. We'll go ahead and flip Deadlock, because Deadlock's going to die anyways. <laughs> and since I'm not going to see another thing hit for it at a better time, let's go ahead and play Treasure Hunt. So one, two, three, four. This will scrap 
go through my deck, so I'm going to hit this shuffle here before I look at the goodies. Oh, yeah, that was go. a terrible shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a very nice draw on this game so far. It's that card magic, isn't it? Yeah, well, I got so many untapped possibilities, too. So, all right, so junk, good, good, good. Yeah, all right. All right. Now, yeah, that was, actually, that was pretty decent. Nothing I can use right now, but I know where stuff's going next time around. All right, uh, let's go ahead. We'll throw a deadlock in first just because. One, two, and a one, and a two. Just doing five. Uh, block two, take three. On nine. Deadlock in. I'm doing six. Uh, blocks one, takes five, and dies on the money. Nine plus five is 14. Nice. Yeah, I had some uh, Star Trek and Turbo Boosters in there. <laughs> <laughs> roll too, so. You win. Well done. I think I think it, yours is one of those ones. It's hard to stand up against something like this with all the untapped potential that I had there. I mean, that deadlock never even took a yeah. lick of damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> good deadlock. The good deadlock never took a lick. Of damage. Hey, but you know what? Both my deadlocks are still alive. So I think <laughs> challenge challenge one. <laughs> yeah, it usually took the lesser deadlock out the game. That sort of swung it, if that makes sense. So deadlock. Yeah, I, was gonna say, yeah. I had out. a good opening hand. I, I can't remember what I had, but I had um, God, what did I have? I don't even remember. I know I had ready for action though, and I had the Star Trek engine, both just, just sitting in wait. And then I drew. Then when barricade, you know, I had it, you know, ready to go. Two different options, but then he drew into it. I was like, well, that's even better. I don't have to waste this. I can use this for later. Yeah, love it. That's cards for you. Right. And yeah, that's a good yeah. fit. Tap in, yeah, that's card. Tap in and I know. It's one of those ones, it's a risk with that blink pit for that ray for action, but man, every single one of them is less than 10 stars, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta hedge your bets on those with cars. You just want to try and untap constantly, because that's how you just keep rolling with the punches. Yeah. I was a little bit worried with that the first initial hit just knocking the crap out of Deathlock. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. That's why you head on, and grenade launchers are in there because you send um, ramjet out first. And if you put one of them on him, he's double digits straight away. So it's pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. I, I love the jet deck you made there. I think it actually still was a lot of fun to see. I wouldn't mind playing it myself sometimes. I just think it's fun to just hit hard with jets. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Um, it does rely on your hand, like what hand you get, but it's, it, does, it does enough. Like, like if you didn't untap, it would have been closer, if that made sense. So, yeah. Against another oh, yeah. three white. Yeah, so, no, it's good. Good fun. All right, guys. Well, thanks for seeing us here on our first of our cha uh, Deck Tech Challenge with Bleeped Up Productions. Hope you guys enjoy the other videos everyone's doing. Uh, until then, we will see you later and have a nice day. Take it easy, guys. Thank you.